Hello, and welcome to the Class of 2021 University of Iowa School of Social Work graduation ceremony. Whether it's your graduation day or you're here to celebrate the accomplishments of someone you love, we are so glad you're here with us for this momentous occasion. Just a quick reminder that you can download a PDF of the program on the University of Iowa commencement page at commencement.uiowa.edu slash ceremonies. And the link is also posted here in the YouTube description and live chat. This will help you follow along with the program order, serve as a memento for this special milestone in your life, and give you more details about the many scholarships awarded to our social work students by the school and its generous alumni and friends, which may not be displayed on the slides here. Hello and welcome. My name is Stephen Cummings, and I'm a faculty member in the School of Social Work, which is part of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I'm very pleased to welcome Dr. Sarah Sanders here today to open our ceremony. We are proud to count Dr. Sanders as a colleague. She is a social worker and a School of Social Work professor. Dr. Sanders served as our most recent former director of the University of Iowa School of Social Work before finding her way to the Dean's position to provide leadership to the whole college. Welcome, Sarah. Hello, everyone. And students, congratulations. I'm so excited to be with you today. The School of Social Work has been my academic and in many respects, spiritual home for almost the last 20 years. I may be sitting in Schaefer Hall these days, but my heart remains in North Hall. Just to give you a brief overview about me, I got my doctorate in social work from the University of Maryland way back in 2002, and then joined the faculty here at the University of Iowa in 2003 on a cold January day. Coming to Iowa was the best decision I made. I have loved the School of Social Work, the University, and Iowa City. I've been able to build a family here and a career with, a, with, with an emphasis in both teaching and research, my loves of gerontology and death and dying. And I've been supported along every step of the way. I had the privilege of serving as the school's undergraduate program director until 2015. And at that point, I became the director of the school until 2019. I've also worked as a, as a community social worker, as many of you know, here in Iowa, but also throughout the country. I've worked for hospice organizations, I worked at the medical examiner's office, I worked with the Alzheimer's Association, and most recently I've had the chance to work with individuals in prison who are dying. All of these experiences have led me to who I am today, and it's been simply wonderful. And I have grown so much as a person and as a professional by what I've seen and by what I've been exposed to. In 2019, I accepted a position as an associate dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. And as many of you know, I became Dean in July. I'm also the college's director of diversity, equity, and inclusion. I am so glad that I've had the chance to continue to teach for the School of Social Work. And I know many of you know this, what I miss the most is you all, you students, at every level, the staff, and seeing my faculty colleagues. But life is all about finding and accepting new challenges. And as a social worker, it's about finding ways to serve. From my new perspective as Dean, it has become so clear to me that the School of Social Work at the I University of Iowa is such a unique place. It's not unique because of our faculty, our staff, or you amazing students, but it's really unique because of the way that the university has made the School of Social Work sit. Let me explain that to you. At a lot of public universities, social work programs are independent entities. Sometimes they're found alongside a program, something like a college of social work. But more often than not, they're standalone, self-contained schools. Or again, a college, as I said. But at the University of Iowa, our school of social work is actually placed in the home, placed in the heart of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. This is just not a reality of an organization, organizational chart. Being part of a comprehensive liberal arts college sparks interactions with programs throughout the college, giving a really crucial broad-based foundation of the study of social work. So let's talk about that for a little bit. For instance, 
it's obvious that social work happens in a humanistic context. So let's talk about the humanities and how they're linked to the social sciences and how that helps us understand our work. How else can we understand the backgrounds, the cultures, and the experiences of the people we serve? How else can we place their struggles within a historical, social, or even a philosophical context? How else do we learn to be sensitive to the dynamics of race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, and class within our society? How else can we help people navigate the complex and systemically racist and sexist and homophobic systems and then learn to help them learn to advocate for themselves. We do that within the, the lens of the humanities. So with a, without a deep understanding of the personal and social environment in which trauma is experienced, how really could we help people overcome it? Our college also includes the natural and mathematical sciences. It is through these hard sciences that we're able to learn the biological factors that contribute to our clients' struggles your bio class. It's where we learn the science behind chemicals that pollute, pollute our air and our drinking water and disproportionately impact BIPOC communities and neighborhoods. That's why we have you take those classes. If this is the classes in which we learn about our environment and the science between, behind the weaponization against the more and poor and minority communities. And our college is also the home to the arts. Through the arts, we learn how people experience their process and their individual journeys in society, how they're able to express themselves. We gain a fresh perspective into the humanities and individuals' hopes and dreams and fears. We also, through the arts, learn therapeutic methods to help people overcome personal and societal trauma using writing, music, visual arts, dance, theater, and even cinema. Because of the seemingly mundane structural fact of being situated within a college of liberal arts and sciences, believe it or not, you've had this amazing opportunity to broaden your knowledge of the lived experiences of individuals and the collective experiences of societies and the cultures. And it's through this, you're gonna be a better social worker. Whether you're graduating this spring with a BA in social work, an MSW, or a PhD, these intersectional and interdisciplinary interactions have strengthened your capacity for empathetic and culturally competent service, not only to your community, but to every individual you serve. You may go on to work for a government agency, a nonprofit, or maybe even a healthcare setting. You may work in a prison or in a community, community agency. You may also pursue an academic career where you can teach future generations of social workers or you may choose to go into another profession, but you will always be informed by your social work and equi equipped with its powerful analytical, analytical and intellectual tools. But no matter what direction you choose, no matter what jer your journey ends up to look like, you'll have a led, uh, leg up because you've learned our profession within that frame of a liberal arts setting. I urge you all to use that broad knowledge as well as your specific social work skills to create a fulfilling and rewarding career yourself. Take risks and remember that it's okay to fail. I fail every day. But today I urge you just to celebrate. You did it. You should be extremely proud. And I can't wait to watch the wonderful, great things that you do to make our world a better place. And for you undergrads, I want you to remember that you're always worth it. You are enough, as I told you way back last semester. And to all the parents and families in this room, in this Zoom room, congratulations. It has been such an honor to have your, your, your children, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother as a student and a member of our Iowa community. So take today and celebrate. Thank you. Hi, my name's Mercedes Byrne Klug and I'm the director of the School of Social Work at the University of Iowa and I'm here to congratulate you on your fantastic accomplishment. After today, you will have your official credential. You're a University of Iowa School of Social Work grad, and we're very happy for you. We're happy for your family, and we're happy for the field to have another wonderful social worker. You have accomplished something that is pretty extraordinary uh, in any year, but especially this year. We've had a pandemic that has 
overturned uh, every class on campus. Many of you have had all your classes on Zoom. You've had Zoom fatigue. You've had, can you hear me? Am I recording? All those kinds of issues that you've dealt with. We've also had the killing of George Floyd this year and the social unrest that followed that and followed the, the continuous killing of arm, unarmed black people by the police and uh, forcing us to reckon as a country with our racism. Here in Iowa City, we also had a very bad storm, a derecho storm in August, right as the semester was starting. And then there was the political uh, presidential campaign and all the uproar over that and our, all the turmoil. And then finally, the announcement about the vaccines. Uh, so throughout this whole year, somehow our social work students have been able to concentrate and focus and earn this credential. So hats off to you. You're fantastic. Um, I have one last lesson for you before you graduate. This is actually a lesson that has been part of each and every one of your social work classes. It's been implicit today. Before I send you on your way, I'd like to make it explicit. And in order for me to, to give this last lesson, I'd like to do it through a story. I'm gonna take you back to 2016, pre-pandemic. I do my research in gerontology. So I study the experience of older adulthood and I focus mainly on long-term care settings. Back in 2016, I went to a local long-term care facility with three social work students and we went there to engage with people who have memory problems. So people with dementia, people with Alzheimer's and we had an activity that we were offering to do. It's a group activity um, it's called Time Slips. Time Slips was developed by a theater professor at the University of Wisconsin, that be Ann Bastings. And Ann Bastings came up with this intervention because she wanted something that people with memory problems could do that would be failure proof. So she developed Time Slips. Let me tell you a little bit about what it is. Time Slips is a group story creating activity. You get five or seven people with uh, memory problems sitting around a table. And then the facilitator, in that case, it was me back in 2016, uh, show everybody has a photo of somebody doing something a little absurd. It's not a celebrity. It's not a family member. It's not anybody who the person with memory problems would say, hmm, I'm supposed to know that person. Instead, it's just an absurd situation. So one of my favorites is a man in a tuxedo riding an ostrich. And so we begin by asking open-ended questions of the people with dementia and whatever they say, we accept. And so I have one social work student who's writing down on a big flip chart, everything that anybody says. So if I say, what did that ostrich have for breakfast that day? Whatever they tell me, we put up there. And the people with dementia end up having a lot of fun with this because there are no wrong answers. And Ann Basting's insight was, that imagination lasts longer than memory. And the whole beauty of time slips is that it's based on imagination. And many family members who uh, watch us do time slips in a nursing facility will be reduced to tears to see their loved one having so much fun, enjoying themselves, because we've created a social environment that completely accepts them. All right, so on this particular day, I went to the uh, staff member and I said, hey, is there anybody else do you think that would like to join time slips today? And she said, I think you've got about everybody. And I said, well, how about that man in 5C? And she said, well, you can go ask him. And so I did. I knocked on the door on 5C and I heard a deep voice say, come on in. And I went in and I was surprised. I was surprised on a couple of counts. First of all, the man was sitting totally dressed with a hat on and a jacket, like he was getting ready to leave at any moment, on his bed with his legs crossed, reading the paper. That's kind of an unusual sight. And um, he was African-American. And I guess I was surprised because there aren't that many African-Americans in nursing facilities, in, in this particular nursing facility. And so I was a little bit surprised by that too. 
Um, I introduced myself. He told me his name was James. I told him what I was there for. I was wanting to know if he was interested in participating in this um, activity of group storytelling. And he asked me a lot of questions about it. And through his questions, I realized he did not have a memory problem. So he probably was not a good candidate to do time slips, but I'd already invited him and he was already welcomed. And so I explained that time slips is really focused on imagination and his face just lit up. And he said, I really like imagination. You know, he said to me on the eighth day, God created imagination. And then he, and I wrote that down because that was, that suck, just struck me um, as such a, an insightful thing to say. And then he wished me good luck and he encouraged um, continued activity with the time slips. And he mentioned that he was very interested in writing and that he hopes that we come up with a good story. Okay. So I went on, we did the time slips and then um, the project was over. I was back on campus. A few months later, I see his picture in the paper in the obituaries. And I read the obituaries. Saying he was a little bit interested in writing was an understatement. I found out his full name was James Allen McPherson. He earned the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. He was the first African American to earn the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. He was also awarded a MacArthur Genius Grant and he won the Guggenheim Fellowship. This man is one of the, was one of the most respected writers in the United States. He, yeah, he was a little interested in writing. Um, I, I have to tell you a little bit about James Allen McPherson. He went to law school and he put himself through law school being a janitor. And after law school, he came to Iowa City and he went through the writer's workshop. And then he became a faculty member at our Iowa City's writer's workshop. And in fact, uh, he remained a faculty member until he retired. Um, his writing is amazing. I strongly encourage every grad to read something from James Allen McPherson this summer. He wrote so persuasively about the experience of being African-American in the United States, the experience of being second guest all day long, the experience of being treated as less than all day long, the assumptions of a person because of the color of their skin being less intelligent, less worthy, less competent, less human, very powerful writer very powerful writer. Um, all right, so now where am I? Ah, my, my last message, my last lesson for you. Cultivate your imagination. Work on your imagination. You'll be a far more effective social worker with some imagination and you'll be a happier person because imagination is a gift. And it was Einstein who said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Well, as a college professor, of course, I think knowledge is pretty darn important. But what I like about imagination is that it leads to innovation and it implies hope. And as a social worker, you're going to need a lot of hope because you're going to see a lot of sadness and sorrow and unfairness in your career. And so I'm hoping that you build that imagination muscle to be there for your clients and for your communities and for the organizations with which you work. So I wanted also to say that I'm sitting here in Creekside Park in the east side of Iowa City. This park was damaged by the derecho also. Some of the uh, equipment for the kids to play on the toys, the swing sets were damaged by uh, fallen trees. It survived the derecho. In March of this year, of this pandemic year, the Iowa City Council voted unanimously to rename Creekside Park, James Allen McPherson Park. Yes, the same James Allen. Every time a kid asks a guardian or a parent or a friend, hey, who was James Allen? As they swing on the swings, James Allen's life will come alive. 
his imagination will spark somebody else's. Every time you read a James Allen McPherson book or essay, again, his imagination will come alive. The Iowa City Council did that at the request of the Black Lives Movement and other advocates for racial justice. They had the imagination to consider renaming a park as a gesture. And so I ask you, keep your imagination alive, keep connected through imagination, and also spend some time recreating at a local park. Congratulations, graduates, we're so proud of you. And come back and visit sometime. The University of Iowa School of Social Work is so very fortunate to have alumni and to have friends who've made financial contributions to our school. Thank you. One of the ways that we use donations is for scholarships for students and also for awards. Today, we recognize the accomplishments of a select group of rather outstanding students who will be receiving awards. The descriptions of the awards that we're going to be presenting today and the names of the recipients are detailed in the graduation program. All right, let's get on with this here. <laughs> it's my pleasure to now present this year's Director's Awards. This honorary award and scholarship recognizes graduating students who have demonstrated outstanding scholastic achievement. They've also demonstrated creativity, leadership, and service. The financial award that they will be receiving has been made possible by the generosity of former director of the school, Frank Glick, and his wife, Mary Bell Glick. We thank them. We, and by we I mean the directors of the undergraduate social work program and the uh, master's social work program and myself, we selected today's recipients from among students who were nominated by their faculty. So the award winners in Iowa City were nominated by the Iowa City faculty and the award winners in Des Moines were nominated by the Des Moines faculty. And now I present to you this year's Director's Award recipients. The first recipient I'd like to announce is Ruth Kasai. Congratulations, Ruth. Congratulations to Megan Wood. Margaret Bowman. Congratulations, Margaret. Tom Wills. And congratulations to you as well. Sabrina Sartori Rosha Schwinard. Congratulations, Sabrina. Kylie Spees. Congratulations, Kylie. And from our first graduating class of our new online MSW program, congratulations to Melissa Leanne Ginther. Ruth, Megan, Margaret, Tom, Sabrina, Kylie, Melissa. We are so impressed with your academic achievement, with your ability to embody the core values of the social work profession, the way you've engaged meaningfully here in the school and in the community, and the way in which you've continuously promoted social justice. Congratulations on receiving this award. Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Hartley, Associate Professor and BASW Program Director, and I'm pleased to present our 2021 graduates earning their Bachelor of Arts in Social Work. Talia Rivka Alush. Matthew Bauman. Madeline Boucher.
Gabriel Bullock. Maya Elise Christopher Evelyn Curran Kristen Eves Evelyn Espinoza Leva Jordan Taylor Fraley Olivia Gall Max Goldberg Jess Graham Taylor Grider Anissa Emsarovich Melissa Ivy Katie James Mariana Aromejo Chavez Megan Jones Maya Jones Ruth Kasai Laika Kaigen Emma Jean Kolpeck Caitlin Rose Cooker Maeve Levy Lucy Lilienthal Zona Rose Lynch Jordan Marshall
Diana Stephanie Martinez Soto. Chloe Elizabeth Mastin. Sierra McArthur. Paisley Meegan. Jordan Nicole Mudge Danielle Oberman Christina Olson Natalie Paulson Livy Paulett Jessica Putnam Giselle Ramos Madison May Rowe Rudra Sharma Sarah Smith Laney Smith Tony Stark Anne Elizabeth Steubing Autumn Tallman Felicity Watson Congratulations to our Class of 2021 BASW graduates. Hi, I'm Stephen Cummings, and I am a clinical associate professor and the distance education administrator for the University of Iowa School of Social Work. I am also now the MSW program director, overseeing MSW programs in all of our four locations across Iowa. 
I am honored to be here today to acknowledge the accomplishments of the 2021 graduates of our Master of Social Work program. Amber Alanis. Emma E. Andaway Anna Anker Lauren Baith Lauren Baker Trayvon Bell Brianne Benson Hannah Bond Nia Britt Jessica Brown Elizabeth Victoria Brown Lily Buschetti Sarah D. Butler Shoup Kira Connard Jordan Conrad Jennifer Cormany Kelsey Craig Elizabeth Cropper Mackenzie Fields Melissa Leanne Ginther Annie Gudenkopf Lucy Hoffman Sydney Rose Holland Carolyn Hollister Cindy Huerta Joel Iverson
Emily Johnson. Ishela Kelson. Paige Klinkenborg. Stephanie Ashley Lecce. Abigail Logan. Tatiana Claire Lowell Campbell. Mosina Mondio. Rebecca McDowell. Monica McWilliams. Anna Miller Wozner. Annie Nelson. Morgan Sue Newman. Kara Niles. Megan O'Donnell. Ashley Parker. Elizabeth Patton. Kristen Pierbacchus. Bronis L. Pertit. Nina Pressman. Angela Rofus. Julie Sands. Sabrina Sartori Rosha Schwinnard. Abby Schuler, Ryan Schwartz, Rachel Slazik. Kylie Spees. Morgan Stangle. Carla Maria Steppens. Samantha Schlembarski.
Courtney Vestal. Carlin Wakey. Caroline Wagner. Brian Walker Moreno. Amy Jan Walter. Annie Weinberg. Aaron Walter. Megan Wood. Antonio Woodard. Congratulations to the University of Iowa's newest Master of Social Work graduates. Hi, I am Megan Gilster, Interim Director of our PhD program in Social Work and Associate Professor. I am delighted to announce our PhD in Social Work graduate, Elizabeth Byram. Liz successfully presented her dissertation entitled Quality of Life of Older Adults with Intellectual Disabilities, the Role of Social Networks and Social Support last week. The PhD is intellectually challenging. It requires persistence and tenacity. It requires a great deal of people management, time management, and project management. It is quite the undertaking. Completing a PhD during a pandemic is a major triumph. Liz's dissertation explored the social life of adults with intellectual disabilities. It will contribute to literature on research methods with this population, to theory on social support in the context of aging and differing abilities. It has the potential to contribute to practice in disability support service agencies. And Liz's dissertation was an absolute pleasure to read. Liz writes beautifully, which will serve her well as she continues in her career crafting social work scholarship that will advance the field. Liz was shepherded through the PhD program by our director, Dr. Mercedes Byrne Klug, who's the chair of her committee. Other committee members included Miriam Landsman, Mei Guo, Sato Ashida from the College of Public Health, and myself. Congratulations, Dr. Elizabeth Byram, and congratulations to all of the graduates of the School of Social Work. Hello, dear graduates of 2021. Uh, I just wanted to say I know you've had a rough road uh, and you've made it. You've made it to the end in spite of all the difficult challenges and I just want to congratulate you for your persistence and determination. And uh, you'll be so happy to have your social work degree and it will open so many doors for you. Um, and I also have just felt very privileged to have the chance to work with many of you. So uh, I wish you the very best in getting your jobs and in getting started in your profession and uh, you really deserve the best. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sam. You did it. Good luck. Yes, best wishes. Congratulations, Jen, on your graduation from all of us at Center Associates, and we can't wait to have you on board here officially. Congratulations, Jen. I hope you had a good practicum over here at Center Associates. We're really happy to have you on board um, as staff moving forward, and, and uh, now the fun begins. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations on graduating. You guys have all worked so hard to get to this point. There's so much need in the world 
and I am excited to have you guys as colleagues out there helping those who are in need in our communities. Congratulations, Maddie. I'm so happy that I got a chance to work with you so closely and explore this whole um, library social worker um, connection and you've made such a big difference in the city of Coralville and the people that have come in the library needing help. Um, <clears throat> I cannot wait to see where you go from here with your career and I think you're gonna change the world for the better. Congratulations. Hi, this is Miriam Landsman, Director of the National Resource Center for Family-Centered Practice. And I just wanna wish all of you congratulations on your graduation. I hope you have a great future. Dear Social Work students, fair warning, this message may sound a bit different from the other messages you have received about graduation. I do not want to offer a flat congratulations or hollow words of encouragement without first acknowledging the horror show of the past 14 months. You, my dear social work students, are graduating in an extremely uncertain and dark period of history. Yes, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, thanks to vaccinations. But it's worth noting that for many of us, these last 14 months have been some of the bleakest, most transformative, most traumatic, most stressful, and most heartbreaking of our entire lives. You have endured a series of hardships and traumas with no clear end in sight. You have endured a climate crisis, a pandemic, teeth grinding uncertainty, and so many racial, transphobic, and economic injustices in a time you also decided to become social workers a profession I view as one of the most noble callings anyone can choose. I do want to congratulate you on choosing social work, or maybe social work chose you. And I want you to know that the work in front of us is daunting. This work we have been called to do will require every and each one of us. And it is going to require that we as a people heal the extensive and horrific trauma that has been inflicted on all of us that we have survived collectively. And I know we can take on this work. I know you have the skills, the compassion, the ethics, the will, the grit, the drive, the understanding, and the knowledge to start healing the world. I admire each and every one of you. I value the contributions you have already made. I value the ways in which you have helped me personally develop both as a person and as a professor. I value the ways in which you've helped the school social work here at the University of Iowa grow. I have no doubt you are going to go on to do fabulous things. I have no doubt about that because of everything you have endured, survived, and now comprehend in a personal way because you have walked through the fires of hardship and difficulty and strife. And now here you are just on the edge of going out into the world. I want to thank you for your bravery, your empathy, your willingness to show up and your vulnerability. You all have been role models for me in the art and science of surviving and sometimes thriving. I have watched you blossom and transform from students to social workers and do your absolute best in the worst of times. If you can keep transforming yourselves and our systems, this is a world of limitless possibilities for you. And I am so grateful to have shared a bit of your journey. Just know I am over here rooting you on from the sidelines and holding you close to my heart as you leave our program. Thank you for being you and don't ever stop taking care of yourselves and taking care of your friends, your community, and our global family. This world needs more of you. Hi, everybody. This is Steve and congratulations. It's, it's graduation day and you did it. It's a fantastic day. Enjoy every minute. Congratulations again. This is wonderful news, and I am thrilled for all of you. Congratulations to Alan Taylor and the rest of the School of Social Work class of 2021. You've done it. You've worked hard in the program. You've completed your practicum, and now you're earning your MSW degree. As somebody who's been in the field for over 20 years, I can honestly tell you this career has given back to me every year since I graduated. 
I look forward to being colleagues with many of you and congratulations again on the completion of your program. Best wishes to you all. Hello, class 2021, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I wish that we could celebrate with you in person, but I'm so happy for you. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Um, stay connected. Hello, graduates. Uh, this is Sarah Wittry, the Field Education Director, and I am just so proud that you all have made it to this point. Uh, the last year has required tremendous perseverance from all of you, and I am now so excited to call you my colleague and welcome you to the profession. And I am so excited to see what you will do and, and how you will impact our, our communities, our profession, and our world moving forward. So thank you so much for the time that you have spent with us in the School of Social Work and congratulations and good luck. Hi, I'd just like to say congratulations to both Sammy and Liz on all of your accomplishments. It's been a blessing to be a part of your journey. I wish you nothing but continued success and continued blessings as you enter into your careers as a master's level social workers. Congratulations. Congratulations, School of Social Work graduates. I can't wait to see all of you out in the field and to now have you as colleagues. Congratulations to the class of 2021. So excited to welcome you into the profession of social work and as a colleague. I want to acknowledge this very special day and the accomplishments that all of you individually and collectively have achieved. This year has brought you a lot of unexpected challenges, but also important life lessons. Not only did you have the regular ac academic demands, but you had all the challenges of online learning, Zoom and connections and all of that. You had COVID, a pandemic that we have not seen the likes of in a hundred years and all the health concerns that went with that. Some of you faced large, financial uncertainties, struggles with daily life and meeting your needs, all of that intertwined with your family commitments. But the thing I wanna emphasize is you found a way through. You found a way through, a way to sustain your vision, to continue your learning and your growth, and to renew your commitment to justice and compassion. So as you go forward, a newly minted member of this great social work profession, build on that resolve, that learning, those life lessons, be the way forward, be remarkable. And in the words of John Lewis, make good trouble in a world that is aching for change. I'm pleased to call you all friends and colleagues. Congratulations, graduates. This is Kelly Stewart with Broadlands Outpatient Behavioral Health in Des Moines, and I'm sending best wishes on behalf of your fellow social workers and fellow University of Iowa School of Social Work alumni. We look forward to seeing the great changes you make in our world. Hello, social work graduates, family and friends. I'm Carolyn Hartley, Director of the Bachelor of Arts in Social Work Program at the University of Iowa. Um, I want to congratulate all our graduates today, um, and I want to just give you the opportunity to reflect back on what this experience in the program has been like. I know that a lot of us have struggled with feeling like this was a lost year um, and full of missed opportunities because of the pandemic. And I wanna encourage you all to take a moment to think about what you've learned this year. Um, you've learned how to maintain important relationships in your life in different ways. Um, you've learned how to learn differently through virtual and online environments. You've learned how to practice social work in new and creative ways in your field placement. Um, you've learned a lot 
Um, you've learned how to adapt and be resilient in the face of very difficult circumstances. Um, and I hope you don't lose that connection with all that you've learned here and the strategies and skills that you're gonna be able to take into your future career to be successful um, and, and contributing social workers to the profession. Um, congratulations. And I hope when we're all able to gather again in person, we have an opportunity to meet at the school um, and, and spend some time together, um, not on Zoom. Congratulations, graduates. Awesome accomplishments. I wish you all the best. Hello, Hannah. Surprise. We could not miss out on this opportunity to wish you well on this, your graduation day. We are very proud of you and your accomplishments. We have watched you grow over the past few years in your position. And also as you have shown us more of your skill set during this internship. We are excited to see and hear about your next steps. So on behalf of Children and Families of Iowa Senior Leadership and also the Family Centered Services Team, congratulations on this accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2021. You have been a very resilient and strong group of social workers through um, numerous changes in your education as a result of the pandemic. You were resilient through social unrest and uncertainty in the past year. Um, and you were out in the field helping people cope with the chaos of their lives and their communities and their country, even while many of you were facing your own chaos in your own lives at the same time. Um, I'm very proud of all of you. You've really made the most of your education and you now have the foundation of social work education to launch from into a practice that will continue to grow and develop as you work with clients and as you continue in this journey. Best wishes in the future and congrats on your academic accomplishments. Hi everyone, my name is Julia Kleinschmidt and I teach um, in our integrated classes and I also teach in our distance programs and I just wanna say congratulations, I'm so excited for you. And I'm excited for us because we get you as colleagues now. Thank you for your hard work, your persistence, your determination, and your heart. Go Hawks. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. We have never needed social workers more than we do right now. Um, so thank you so much for choosing this profession and for getting out there and making social justice work for everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. Yay. Woo! We can't wait to have you join us. Very exciting. Woohoo. Woo Congratulations to all of the graduates. Woohoo. Yes. <laughs>